there have been 851 episodes of Doctor Who broadcast to date. Our mission? For every single one, say something nice. Hello dear viewers and welcome back to an unexpectedly special episode of Say Something Nice. Now, I didn't plan this and I just figured out, okay, this episode is going out on the 22nd of November. Of course, the anniversary of John F. Kennedy's assassination, which means that tomorrow is the anniversary of Doctor Who. It is the 56th anniversary of Doctor Who tomorrow. And it just so happens that on my spreadsheet, today's episode that we're covering is An Unearthly Child, the first ever episode of Doctor Who. So An Unearthly Child got 4.4 million viewers, this brand new BBC sci-fi series. And the nice thing I'm choosing about this is the fact that the episode we saw broadcast got recorded. For those of you who don't realise, the first episode of Doctor Who broadcast wasn't the first episode recorded. Two versions of An Unearthly Child were recorded. The first recording is now known as the pilot episode. It is available to see. There were technical issues, there were elements of the characterizations that one of the series creators, Sidney Newman, didn't like. And so, he gave permission to producer Verity Lambert and Warris Hussein to shoot the episode again and get it right this time. All three of them had a lot riding on this show's success. And they wanted to make the show something special that could appeal to the whole family. So by having that chance to re-record the episode, and not just fix the technical issues, because 60s TV had a lot of technical issues, a lot fewer than we kind of remember, if you like. You know, we, we see a door banging against a wall, and we amplify that, and we think that happens in every scene, but it only happens once. But... The big thing that this new recording changes is it makes the Doctor more likeable, even though he's a bit of a sinister character, there's a bit more humour to him in the recording we get. And it also makes Susan a bit more relatable. I know that actress Carol Ann Ford was a bit disappointed that Susan wasn't a bit more alien, but at the same time, by toning that down, it means her plight and her pleas at the end of the episode in order to stay in 20th century London, they hit us a bit harder. We care a bit more about her as a character. Sidney Newman had a hand in creating a lot of shows, and I know a lot of people out there say Doctor Who was created by Sidney Newman. He was one of the creators. Verity Lambert, David Whittaker, even Morris Hussein, some say Anthony Coburn, you know, Doctor Who was a combined effort. But ultimately, if Sidney Newman had not liked that first pilot, he could have fired Verity Lambert, he could have fired Warris Hussein, he could have brought Rex Tucker back in, um, who was meant to be sort of series director or co-producer with Verity Lambert, certainly caretaker producer before she came on board. But instead, this group of people saw that they had made a few missteps and decided to correct them. And because of that correction, we're still talking about this show 56 years later. And I don't know about you, but I don't know what my life would be like without Doctor Who. It's such an important part of my life and it's taught me lessons about life. It's helped me get over bad things in my life. It's helped me better appreciate good things in my life. It has helped me make some of my closest friends. And with them I've been able to create things as well. Like podcasts and books <laughs> and I mean this series here I know it's just me on the sofa but I have my friends supporting and encouraging me and you the viewer as well all because Sidney Newman said to Verity Lambert and Morris Hussein I know you can do better and because they proved him right so after you finish watching this go watch An Unearthly Child Pull out a DVD, if you're in the US it's on BritBox. 
um, but it's a magical piece of television because there had never been anything quite like it. And it's informed the series for 56 years when we're introducing new companions or new doctors or the TARDIS for the first time. Every moment of it just has a little bit of magic from Barbara and Ian discussing Susan to her not quite understanding how British culture works in the 60s to the exploration of the junkyard to going inside the TARDIS to the Doctor explaining how the TARDIS works but then saying to us, no, you're not ready yet. And he's not just saying it to Ian and Barbara, he's saying it to us. In order for us to be ready, we need to come on the journey. I suppose I'm choosing the whole bloody episode. The whole of an unearthly child is something really nice about Doctor Who. Tomorrow there'll be a special video on the channel, then on Sunday a rapid randomizer review, and on Monday I'll be reviewing The Witchfinders from Series 11. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Now go watch an unearthly child.